Like we say in the description, it says it's dedicating to his fans. He's so appreciative to the Deers. He's so grateful to all the things that he has been able to do. But on the other hand, I think the Deers are equally as grateful to him. Because they have something otherworldly to experience because of him. He gives to his fans, the fans give back to him and vice versa. And that's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful relationship between the two of those. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. I'm going to react to the newest one from Dimash. He has just been celebrating his birthday, I presume, because it's like been the 24th of May. I'm recording this on the 26th. Uh, and I believe it was on his birthday that he uh, posted this new video being Omir. I don't know what Omir uh, means. Uh, I know there is a song like Omir Oter, but I don't know if that has anything to do with this. Um, but apparently in the description uh, of this video, it says on the 24th of May, on his birthday, the Mash Kudaibergen presented a new musical composition, Omir, which he dedicated to all his fans. So I assume it is a new song altogether. The work tells the story of the singer's life and the creative path from the very beginning to his becoming an artist who is known today. Music and lyrics are by Dimash himself, um, and the arrangement, mixing and such uh, direction are from some other people here. Uh, it is in the description of that video. Guys, before you watch my reaction, perhaps go ahead and uh, watch the original video, and then come back and watch my reaction. I'm not exactly sure what I'm in for here, but some people mentioned this new video, and I got a notification for it too. So let's check it out, Dimash. Let's like this video already. I have subtitles in Adel in English. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be English uh, lyrics, but we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Start with his childhood. Oh, that's cool. He already had the um, dumbra, or, or what was what was the instrument called? Yeah, here, right here. That's cool that he already, as a baby, had instruments uh, in his hands. Amir, does that mean life? Because I see it in the lyrics right here, the subtitles. Life that goes on day after day. Life that goes on day after day. Okay, yeah. Okay. He loves life. He's infatuated with life. Aren't we all? I mean, not everybody, of course. But I think, like, life is so vast to un and hard to understand. There are so many mysteries, like he said, as well, that we can't even understand some things we will never understand from life if you dig too deep into it you can kind of get like depressed i feel like because there aren't any answers to be found for some questions i believe <laughs> It's cool. it's cool to see all the awards that he got and the progression that he made. I do wonder what the lyrics on his face here, um, the lighting, what it represents. I don't know what it says. It, it looks like it's 
some kind of Russian, um, but I'm not sure, and I don't I don't know what it what it means. I don't know. It, what I think about is perhaps that it is his story written reflected on him. I don't know. I, I could could be totally wrong on this, uh, but that's what I think about. Like his life written down, reflecting on himself. I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps, guys, because like he's basically like what like we say in the description, it says it's dedicating to his fans and he's so appreciative to the Deers. Uh, and it's a well-known name, the Deers, his fan base. Right. Uh, he's so grateful to all the things that he has been able to do. But on the other hand, I think the Deers are equally as grateful to him. Because they have something otherworldly to experience because of him. And of course, it's like they, they work together. They complement each other. He gives to his fans. The fans give back to him and vice versa. And that's a beautiful story. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful relationship between the two of those. And seeing all these performances from uh, from the singer as well. We saw a clip from, I believe it was uh, Opera 2. I saw, I think there was SOS. It's cool to see. It's very cool to see. And he's so grateful. Whoa, what a nice shot, by the way. <laughs> and that one was, sorry to pause again, guys, but it, that was from uh, Lara Fabian. That was uh, Adagio, the one in the blue uh, uh, blazer. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Do, do not test me with mistakes, disappointments. Don't make me asking for forgiveness. So is that... Does he mean that uh, the moments that he has a hard time, uh, mentally, I, be I believe, um, if he has a mentally hard time, does he fear of doing some things wrong? Does he, does he fear to, to sin? Does he... Uh, fear to sin and then afterwards have to ask for forgiveness for those mistakes, for example. I don't know. Um, but I, I, that's something that we all deal with sooner or later, right? We all make mistakes. Um, but the, the, the amount of mistakes and how bad the mistakes are, of course, uh, differ from person to person and from situation to situation. Uh, but I think he just is afraid of making big mistakes, Whilst it's just part of being human. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Please welcome Dimash. I just get goosebumps looking at this. Oh. That was Jackie Chan, wasn't it? 
That's Jackie Chan. That's cool. I didn't know he had a meeting with Jackie Chan. That's awesome. But I also, I don't know if that is what they want to show with this, but here he's also bare feet. And I don't know if the reason behind that is so he comes across as vulnerable. Because on your feet, on your bare feet, you're more vulnerable than when you're wearing shoes. I don't know if that's the case, but it gives a softer feeling to me. It brings across a, a softer feeling, a more uh, vulnerable feeling to me from him. <laughs> That was Nicole, uh, Nicole Kidman, right? That's Nicole Kidman, right? Am I wrong? It is Nicole Kidman, I think. Lara Fabian, Igor Krutoy. Oh my god. Like we know he goes very high, but here he he pushes more. Like he there's a there's almost some distortion in it, like really shouting out. Let's listen to that part again. <laughs> He met the Pope? He met the Pope of Rome? Oh, wow. Okay, he met a lot of people. Is that his father? I'm not sure. It's hard to see from here. Um, man, it's, it's crazy to see what he has been able to achieve uh, in all in, in these... Yeah, and all these years that he's been active, uh, the places that he went to. I've seen a lot of videos from Dimash, but seeing this, like, I haven't even come close to seeing all of them. <laughs> there are so many videos about him. Oh. <laughs> Was this his grandmother? I, I, it seems so. Yeah, cool. So actually the... I don't know, how do you call it? Like, where the sand is flowing through? I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, but basically, that represents his whole career, right? From, this, from the moment it starts falling down, the grains of sand, until all the grains of sand are falling down in the lower um, half. That was a cool video and a nice song to, to hear. It's nice that he actually dedicates so much attention to his fans and so much 
effort to his fans. He appreciated them so much. He appreciates them so much, and vice versa. I mean, the community of of Dimash's fans, the Deers, are some of the most faithful, I believe. Uh, sometimes fanatic, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I can call myself a deer too, right? The amount of videos that I've seen and the times he has blown me away. And he continues. I mean, from what we've seen in the story of One Sky, we see he has still room to grow. I mean, it's hard to comprehend because the capabilities he already has. But he has still time to grow. And I'm very curious to see what he brings next. Uh, guys, I'm sure I missed some of the people that were in this. I don't, I didn't recognize every single person that was in there, but I saw a couple of uh, references to other videos and people that he met throughout his career. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you enjoyed my reaction, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions to Dimash. I have a whole playlist of videos that I reacted to from him. Or some of my other reaction videos to other artists and musicians. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much. And see you guys next time, dears. Bye. <laughs>